going on guys it's pg here and i'm bringing you part 54 of our dark souls 2 walkthrough and here we go again with another little cutscene. it looks a little bit familiar it was kind of how we ended our last episode and with any luck i will be running through two memories for you guys so here we go and uh this is the memory of course where we talk to our new best friend and um, we're going to ignore him this time. He really doesn't have anything new to say to us. And we're going to go ahead and run through memory V as fast as we can while still collecting items. Mainly because we do not want to get stuck um, having to go through this shit again. Um, I know there's a giant that's going to break through the wall. And uh, I still got hit. And it sucks. My question is, how the hell did he know to break through the wall? And he's obviously not strong enough to break through walls, seeing how I'm totally safe right here. Anyway, he's dead, we're alive, that's all that matters. I think it'd be kind of cool if the giants dropped something, like a, like a giant bone or something like that, that you could actually use as a weapon. Um, here's another fun fact. Soul Spear goes through multiple opponents. I have no idea what the fuck happened there. Uh, he kind of just fell all by himself. I don't know what the fuck that was. He like twisted his ankle and fell. Uh, those dudes are cool. They have cool little facial uh, head scarf things that kind of suggest that they uh, they do horrible things to you, like uh, cast spells, pyromancies, things like that. We are gonna go ahead and come up here, grab us a little item. Now, of course, we're doing pretty good when it comes to souls. I don't think we've really lost too many during the game. Um, I would actually... I would actually say I don't think we've lost any. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, blast the shit out of these guys. Kill as many of them as we can. Mainly because fuck these giants, I don't like them. But uh, anyway, he's gonna go ahead and get fucked up. We're gonna go uh, move on. Now there's one more giant over there, and uh, if I time this just right, we might be able to do something kind of cool, which I've done in uh, previous playthroughs, where um, I'm kind of going to jump and use him as a springboard. So there you go, those two dudes, they want to throw stuff at me, they're, they're mean people. Boom, jump off of him, and we're going to get really close to that fireball, we got hit just a little bit. Not too worried about it though. I really thought that guy was gonna give me something, seeing how he's like covered in weapons and dead, but um, I guess that's just there to kind of show you how hard it is to take one of these goddamn dudes down. Uh, just another thing we're not too worried about. Um, our magic seems to be fucking these guys up really well. So, like I told you guys earlier, our magic passes through multiple targets. And the Kilt of Ogdane is doing us some justice, saving us from a lot of the fire damage. Bonfire Aesthetic and another uh, soul for us. I was tempted to finish that guy off, but uh, there's really no point. We don't really need the souls. And uh, it's kind of a waste of my magic, and I'm trying not to burn through too much of it at once. So we're going to go ahead, get real close to exiting this world now. Uh, pretty much this area is meant to be a headache for you. It's kind of one of those things where if you're a slow explorer, you're going to have to come through here multiple times. Uh, but if you have experience, you kind of just blaze through it, kind of just the way it is. And we're going to go ahead and finish this guy off. He was supposed to be the big dangerous guy that was uh, going to prevent me from leaving, but uh, he kind of sucked. We blew him out of the water with that magic. And now we are ready to get the hell out of here. We got the soul of the giant. That would make two. And we are on our way to doing bigger, better things. So, um, I don't know. I would say that went pretty damn well. Um... We didn't get crushed by a giant, but we did get hit with that uh, that rock. That was unpleasant. 
Oh well, it happens. Now we are back in the forest of the fallen giants. And we're gonna head towards our last memory. But of course, first I'm gonna wanna sit at a bonfire. Just kinda get my stuff back. Um, I really didn't remember that these guys respawned when you came back in. So, uh, totally forgetting that, we uh, kinda have to fight. So, there we go, that's over. I'm gonna go ahead, pick that up. Um, no matter how far you are in the game, when an enemy drops something, fucking pick it up. You know, like it takes two seconds and uh, it could be something you end up needing. Here we go, we are going to make our way back towards uh, the pursuer, if you guys remember that from some of the first videos in the game. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get fucked up by these goddamn spear dudes. They always seem to be an issue. So uh, we get a good double slap off, but uh, just short of that, we did not do very much uh, with that second attack. So we took that guy out with an arrow, and we took that guy out with an arrow. A part of me really does want to make an enchanted bow, just because it would uh, it would level off of my intelligence, which would give it a bigger uh, parameter bonus, seeing as how I really don't have um, much in the way of strength or dexterity. But uh, that's something to think about later. And uh, I don't even know if I really need to use a bow being a mage, so... It seems like I have distance covered just by using my spells. Anyway, we are back where we want to be. And we're going to go ahead and head into this last memory. Um, here's Benny, uh, good old Benhar. He's gonna go ahead and yap for a little bit. Now, call me crazy, but this guy pretty much seems like he wants me to fuck him up and take his goddamn sword. I'm really not against it. Um, I don't need that stupid sword. It's really overused. But a part of me is like, meh, I could probably kill Benny and take his shit. Um, any of you guys that are starting this game as a deprived or as a warrior knight, I would suggest the first time you see this guy, you kill him. Not for his weapon, but for his armor. Uh, if you're a deprived, you're going to want really good armor and you're not going to have the souls to waste buying it. So this guy has super good armor and uh, you can actually walk up and kill him before fighting any bosses in the game. Uh, it's just a quick, easy little thing that you can do. It'll get you a really nice armor set. And uh, for those of you out there that want the weapon, fuck it. You can go get the weapon first thing in the game and uh, cheese your way through the entire game if that's what you want to do. But uh, anyway, Senhar won't shut the fuck up. So we really want him to just shut up. He's got the silly little laugh going on. I really don't care for Ben Har. He has uh, brought forth a weapon that was annoying in Dark Souls 1 and is equally annoying in Dark Souls 2. I'm just not really a fan of that sword. More importantly, I think he is uh, he's finally shut up. So now we can go ahead and enter into our third memory. Here we go again with a nice little cutscene. I'm gonna go ahead and walk into this giant's dick. Uh, nobody questions it. I just kind of fade into his crotch. It's cool. He's dead. He's not gonna tell anybody. So, pretty much this is gonna be one of the last areas that we have to go through in the game. We're coming really close to the end of the game. I really hope you guys have liked this playthrough. And, um... As you guys can see already, goddamn Benny is still here. And there's all these goddamn, uh, I just want to call them giant crossbows. I know they have a name, but I really can't think of it right now. So anyway, here he is again, and uh, he's like, hey, what's up? Um, I'll totally help you if you want my help. And uh, yeah, fuck you, Benny. Nobody needs your help, you know? We waste time talking to Benny, because he's a dumbass. And uh, now it's time to go to the right, because that is what we want. 
that's the shorter path and uh from experience i know that uh it's going to uh offer us the soul that we want and then we can go ahead and fuck around in other areas so we go ahead come out here got giants jumping around and shit so we want to jump back in now i don't know if that dude just fell from the goddamn sky or what uh, there are some archers up there behind me. I don't know if they had something to do with that guy falling. So, uh, that dude pretty much fucked up everybody over there in one swipe. It's pretty fucking impressive. Um, also, something to keep in mind, uh, the undead in this, this area of the game are actually totally cool, alive night dudes right now. Um in the actual game right now. So when you see me fighting them in a little bit, uh, it's, you know, you're not going crazy. Uh, their armor definitely looks a lot cooler when they were alive and not all degraded and dead. So um, I'm gonna go fight some of these living knights up here. And you guys can see that, uh, you know, it's actually kind of cool. The armor is all nice and fresh looking. I'm not sure if it's a different armor set or like if it's classified as a different armor set, but uh, it definitely looks a lot nicer. And um, I've actually seen um, a host in PVP using the nice light armor right there. Um, it looks cool and uh, I don't know, maybe I'm looking too much into it, but I think it's kind of nice that they put in that detail that the uh the aged out dead ones have the shit armor and the uh the newer guys that are still alive well were still alive kind of had the nice light cool looking armor anyway we went ahead finished them off we're gonna go ahead and uh i really wanted to blast this guy through the window but uh it's kind of a no-go didn't work out couldn't lock onto him so we're gonna jump down here make sure we don't lose health we're gonna go back the way we came, and we're gonna go ahead and explore some more until our time runs out. Now that we have the giant soul, it really doesn't matter if we get timed out of this world. We're gonna go ahead and come up the stairs, make sure nobody's behind us. Now, in this room, there's just a bunch of, uh, they would be hollows, but for right now, of course, they're alive. And uh, they're just chilling, doing their own thing. I draw them in and uh, give them a little soul great sword. They didn't like it. I got a fucking arrow going through my head right now. That's not nice. I'm gonna go ahead, combo this guy to death because we're cheap and uh, go ahead and collect the goodies in here. Um, I wanna point out that uh, the first Pharaoh's Lockstone that you use here, super good. Come over here, chop at the wall a little bit. And uh, you get to go through and you, uh, you know, you get a nice little item. Keep in mind that this is booby trapped. Um, I did hit it, but for some reason that does not actually deactivate traps. Go ahead and get soul of a hero times three. That's some good souls right there. Uh, this one, however, is a trap. You put the block stone in, get out of there, and uh, that is meant to do some serious damage to you. Don't really give a fuck. Um, that was a trap. We got out of the way. So the ashen mist has thinned. Not a good sign. Means we got about 20 seconds left. We're gonna go ahead and come up here. We gotta still be cautious. We don't wanna die. That's embarrassing. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, shoot this dude. He threw that shit all the way behind him. I was admittedly mad when he did that shit to me. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try to take out this last giant over here. And uh, time is not on our side, but we did manage to kill him. So, you know, good for us. All right, guys. So this video is coming towards an end. As always, I hope you guys like the videos and I hope you guys are excited. The end of the video, or the end of the walkthrough series, I should say, is coming up and it's coming up fast. So, uh, for everyone out there that's been a loyal fans, I want to say thank you, and I will see you in the next episode.